You never forget your first time on a CNC. The doubt, the noise, the nerves. Daniel hadn't ever felt any of that, yet. I have no idea what I'm doing. He had never touched a CNC. And this is what he said when I handed him a bit. Um, it looks like it would cut into the wood and it looks like it could go pretty deep. Daniel and his family have been longtime friends of ours. I've been able to watch him grow up, recently graduate high school, and now get ready to go off to college. Daniel, do you have any CNC experience? None at all. I've never been a tool guy. <laughs> okay. Why do you want to make something on the CNC? Um, well, the CNC is a, is a cool machine, and you can make um, some pretty cool projects with it. How confident do you feel that you can successfully make a project? Uh, yeah, very confident. This is a grill scraper. If you can make one that looks like this, I'll buy you lunch. All right, sounds good. But if you can't, okay. then you have to buy me lunch. All right. But once he got into the shop, reality hit hard. You could almost see the doubt creeping in. Not all at once, but just enough to stall him. Then Daniel said it out loud. All right. I have no idea what to do. And every person who's ever started CNC with zero experience has felt the same way. Um, it's showing a lot of errors. After a while, I could tell he wasn't just confused. He was stuck. I'm just, I'm just looking around right now. That's all I got. You stuck? Yeah, I'm struggling. Do you want some help? Yeah, sure. Do you think you can do it without and help? Uh, no. <laughs> all right, so I created some resources for you uh, that I think will help you along the way. Okay. I provided Daniel with resources from my course, the CNC Kickstart, including a pre-made project file, a detailed walkthrough video, and a project checklist that will guide him through the process. And once he had something to follow, things started to click. Mm. I just honed the machine. I didn't solve it for him. I just gave him a path to keep moving forward. Just gonna do one long piece. Okay, well, maybe I should cut it all the way through. Oh, interesting. I made it a little long, so I'm gonna make it smaller. Uh. All right, I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's not good, right? Yeah. Uh, part of it is if you look, like we're, this is a flat flat piece, right? Mm -hmm. This is flat. So mm -hmm. one thing you got to check too is that it, it sits flat without the tape. So it's the tape. Then we know it's the tape. Okay. Right? And so what do we have here? A, a ball of tape that I rolled up. <laughs> okay. Um, and, and it's not straight. Do you think... It has anything to do with the space between the board yes. and a waste board? <laughs> Definitely. You could see it. The unknown didn't go away, but it wasn't holding him back anymore. He was more intentional. This time, each step had a reason behind it. The file was loaded, the bit was zeroed. Check. Turn this on. Hey. Check. And then it was time. Check. We're good to go. I think it's I think it's ready. He hovered over the start button for a second. That moment of hesitation right before you commit.
Alright, he looks scared. At first, it sounded good. The bit dropped in, the machine started moving, and everything looked like it was working. But a minute or two in, Daniel leaned in a little closer. The cuts didn't look right. I don't know why it's doing that. It, um, let's see. It went down for a little bit and then came back up. Every beginner makes a mistake at some point. Well, it's done now, but it's not done. Um, Right, let's turn this off. Something with the carve doesn't go right, and you wonder what went wrong. Um, I have no idea. I'm confused on why it, why it did that. Okay, the bit wasn't uh, on tight, so we need to fix that. But Daniel figured it out and fixed it. Now, I got my zero, 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 Z. All right, it should be good now. Turn this on. And now he knows something you can't learn just by watching videos. It didn't feel like a do-over. It felt like progress. No guesswork, no panic, just the machine doing what it's supposed to, and Daniel watching it happen. Trying to take it off now. All right, I got it. <laughs> take this tape off. Uh, it looks good. I'm feeling good about it. it looks it looks great. All right, walk us through the journey. Yeah, so going into it, um, I mean, I would say I was confident, but that changed very quickly. I got on the computer and I had no idea what I was doing. Um, so that checklist really helped me. Yeah, so my lowest point was definitely when I didn't have the bit on tight enough and it didn't cut all the way through the wood. It was an easy fix. What couldn't have you done this without? Um, definitely the video, um, that one really helped. It was um, long and it explained the whole, the whole thing um, step by step, so. Holding that in your hand, you started yep. with a blank piece of wood, and now you're holding something like that in your hand. How does it feel? It feels great. I mean, I could use it uh, on the black stone or I could um, give it to my dad for Father's Day, so. How do you think your dad would feel? I think he would be surprised more than anything that I could make this on my own. Yeah, would you do it again? Oh yeah, definitely. There's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, there's literally endless possibilities that you can make. So, my favorite part was at the end when I could hand, like, I could grab it and and use it. So, yours looks pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. Did you think you could do it? No, not at first. That's why I created the CNC Kickstart. If you are a beginner in CNC, watch this video on the screen where I talk about how I almost quit when I started CNC. While you're watching that video, I gotta buy this guy lunch. Yep. Where are we going? Zaxby's. Always oh, Zaxby's.